this is Anna, uh, I'm Portuguese and today I'm an official graduate of King's College London studying theoretical physics. Okay, uh, graduation is pretty cool, but let me tell you all about what happened even before I went to London. <laughs> so, before going to London uh, to study physics, uh, I decided to take a gap year. And during that gap year, I entered this competition called F1 in Schools. Now, if you never heard about F1 in Schools, it's basically this huge global STEM challenge for high school students in which teams of students need to build their own Formula One team. So they need to design and manufacture their own tiny car and they need to build a team identity and branding and a marketing strategy. They need to get sponsors. So literally everything that a Formula One team does, the students need to do as well at a much smaller scale. So that's what I did during my gap year. So this was my uniform uh, for the World Finals in 2015. Our team was called Mustangs and we're representing Portugal, of course. Uh, and yeah, it was a lot of hard work to get there. We had to go through the Portuguese regional finals, the Portuguese national finals, and we actually didn't make it to the world finals in our first year in 2014. So we had to do it all over again, a new car, a new team identity, a new pit display, new sponsors, everything. But finally, in 2015, we, we got elected to the World Finals and we got to participate in that. So that was pretty amazing. Another amazing thing that happened in Singapore was the Williams Engineering Academy. So let me tell you all about that as well. Uh, basically, Williams uh, had just launched an engineering academy and they wanted to recruit some students for their first year. And I'm not sure how I got selected. Uh, it was very random uh, to apply, but I was really happy with it. And since 2015, I've been learning automotive engineering with Williams. So alongside my university studies at King's in London, uh, Williams has been teaching me engineering ma mainly online. Sometimes we get invited to events and we get to meet uh, some of the engineers of the team personally, but mostly will be online because the students are from all around the world. Obviously, the other great uh, opportunity that came out of F1 in schools was being a student ambassador for Autodesk. So because I learned Autodesk Inventor and Fusion 360 during uh, my time in the competition, then I got to register as a student ambassador and now I get to teach other students about Fusion 360 and I get to go to some Autodesk events around the world and I just meet so many incredible students. Uh, I've been having some great experiences. quite a wild ride since F1 in schools and of course I'm doing this uh, alongside my university studies uh, at King's uh, once more. So by now I think you, you understand that I'm juggling a lot of stuff between physics and the Williams Academy and Autodesk but it's really fun, I'm enjoying every second of it and this project is one of the things that I do as a student ambassador and I'm really looking forward for the next videos that I'm preparing for you guys. So I actually get to show you some of my work and some 3D printing projects, really cool stuff. So yeah, keep in touch 
uh, keep an eye out on my Instagram as well. I'll post a link somewhere. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little story. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.